Today we are here with giving some facts about the trading. Here's some do's and don'ts when you're going to send a trade. Number one, I'll check the value and average. Now you might probably know know that, but sometimes there's some tricky situations. Something with this. Um. This. This is a don't. Sending um. You can send them if they're jokes, and you won't if you won't accept any trades if some people are being idiots. Like, it's going to be fine, but if you're being serious, if the average of the one thing you want to receive is much more higher than your average and much more higher than your value of the item you're wanting to give or items you want to give or receive, don't. That is some real advice. It'll make you look like a fool a bit if you make sh It can make you literally look like a fool. Let me find one of my low items. Here's another thing. Make sure to watch out for these. Let's go find something. Here's something that if you give somebody with an with more of it with a hat that has more of an average and more of a value, don't do that. You might make yourself look like it's a troll trade, and also, <clears throat> and if you're really gonna want something like that for something that's that expensive, rethink your life. And if in case if you're a rare with si in case if you like to go rare with si rare with say style, I, it's hard to pronounce its name. Rare with say style, and say about it's it's all about rarity. Or if you really do think it's about rarity, no. Here's something that you'll encounter a lot. Let's say if you're an average um, person. And you see that this is here. You'll think. I don't know. What Wait, but the value's high, but the average. Well, uh, I don't know what to do. Even for both, it might be difficult, but most people, they if they would see, like, a major um, draft in the value, they would probably accept it. Some people, it might be extremely difficult.
Here's something like this. This is also something you might encounter. This is this is where you can probably be fine with a value, but now the average matters. Because if there's if anything's the same, that thing right there will matter the most, especially average. If they're the exact same, I would check the average. If these are the same, I might accept depending on which item. So yes, I would probably, um, if this, you would probably be giving this, they would probably, um, accept this. Let me see if I can find something that's the exact same. Just to let you know, do not leave. I'm trying to demonstrate. But then, here's when this comes in. A tricky situation. This can... Sure, you might get the same, same item. This is where your ID comes in. How many copies... This right here. I wouldn't recommend doing this because some people might look at the thing and if they see that if it's there, um, if it's um, a higher, if it's a lower ID than theirs, they'll accept it. But this, anyways, I would not do anything no matter what, high or low ID. This this is player ones, which is my brother. So, nobody would ever get it. Let me go find something. This is going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> Here's something that's a little bit more rare. <clears throat> so, um, this... Some people will see the drastic amount in value changes, and then the average. That is something. And this isn't, just to let you know, this isn't about getting more value. It's about making fair trades. There could be something that you really, really want. Something you really, really want. Like, the golden box. No, um, I shouldn't have done that because I might have accidentally got out of here. You might want the golden box. And you give all your items for it. You probably won't even have enough comparing to the average. 
trust me, you're probably never going to get an average high enough to get a golden box. That is the rarest item in the in the entire game, and that is very expensive. And the value, you'll probably, you might get up to it. <coughs> But it's highly likely they won't accept because of its rarity. Let's say if you were a ridiculous person, you would probably want that, but that is too much. Just don't be... These might get a little bit out of hand anyways, but... Well, anyways, just make sure to check... Um. If they're good trades, remember, that's so far of my hands because my brain is getting all messed up for some reason because my mind's getting boggled a bit because, um, I've been doing all this, like the little golden box thing, and I'm running out of ideas. We'll probably do a second part, but... If you want to be a popular person, like you think you'll probably get... Oh, you get extremely popular? Like, like if you're going to be very rich, like you're number one... Or if you're, um, a, like a single digit. Possibly not. Sure, you'll get, sure, you'll see a lot, but you probably won't be considered popular. You have to be active. You have to have a good reputation. And you have to be liked by a lot of people, and you have to be known by a lot of people before you can become popular. Well, that's the end of my, um, of my, of all this, of my trading tips. I'll see you soon. Goodbye!